the statement. I don't know if this is working or not. Doesn't sound like it. Um, I'd say, first of all, credit goes to K-State, their coaches and their players. Uh, they did a great job. They were the more physical. They were the more aggressive team. Um, and they did a better job in some of the areas that we take pride in, in terms of rebounding and, and being physical. Uh, credit to them for doing that job today. And, you know, we, we just got to be better. We got to be better than what we were. Yeah, I think we lost focus today. We were up 18-10, and we settled for a lot of early clock jump shots. Um, we had costly turnovers that are unrealist, or uh, uncharacteristic of our team. Uh, we didn't have enough focus defensively on guarding the dribble and having collisions. So I don't think today's game and last game had much to do with each other. I think that today we didn't do a good job in those areas, and credit to K-State for making us pay when we didn't do the job. Taman, what do you see as the issues offensively for you guys right now? Just losing focus on the defensive side, really. Um, when we get stops, our offense sort of just works. It flows better. We have more confidence when we're getting stops back to back to back. Uh, so really just not worrying about our offense, not forcing anything on the offensive side. I feel like we get in stretches where we try to force things, uh, take bad shots, and that's where uh, we have lapses and teams make runs. So uh, just staying focused on both sides of the ball. TJ, Milan, Milan hasn't, um, he didn't score tonight. What is, um, I don't know, what, what can you do to get him going? Yeah, he needs to get himself going. I mean, he's one of the best freshmen, if not best freshmen in this league. And everybody knows it. And the other teams know it. So he's getting, you know, scouting report defense and people trying to take things away from him. Uh, I couldn't have more confidence in a freshman on our team of what I know he can do and what he's worked for and earned every day. So we're going to hold him accountable as we move forward to do the things that he's put to work in on because it's far below his standard. I couldn't believe in him more, obviously, evidenced by up to this point. He leads us in minutes played, and he's going to continue uh, to do the work, and he's going to step up for us come Thursday. Coach, to come in here after um, today's game and kind of be frustrated with the effort and the focus that you guys displayed, how frustrating is that on the last day of the regular season? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's not what you want to have happen. And again, we've we've had a great regular season. So we didn't have focus today. It's a one-game deal. Credit to K-State. They made us pay. On to the next game. Shifting to the postseason, how important is it to kind of have this kind of lesson of, you know, if you lose, you go home when you don't have the focus and the intensity that you need in the postseason? Yeah, I would say, like, as much as I'm going to be hard on our guys about what happened today, I don't think anybody could question that focus and intensity of our team over a 31-game season. So because we had one bad game, we're going to scrap it and move it to the side, and we're going to get back to being the team that we are because for 31 games over the stretch, uh, those are things that we've done well and we will do well come Thursday. <clears throat> One thing that kind of sticks out to me is the points off turnovers. That tends to be a stat that you guys kind of dominate in, but TCU or not uh, Kansas State today was able to not only get nearly as much turnovers, but more points off turnovers where you guys didn't really turn turnovers into offensive opportunities, I guess, how were they able to do that, kind of shift the momentum? Yeah, I mean, we did it for the first six or eight minutes of the game, and we had it going the way we needed to go, but we were not as aggressive guarding the basketball. We didn't pressure them as well. Uh, we didn't dictate as much. I mean, the points off turnovers is probably as clear of, of a stat as you can look at for our team to see where our focus, where our effort is at. Certainly, uh, 11 is far below our standard, and Again, credit to K-State, they did some good things, but we have a higher standard for our guys when it comes down to being able to generate points off our defense. That's who we are, that's what we do, and that's what we will get back to doing. TJ, to go back to, to Milan, you said he needs to get himself going. When you look at the stat sheet, when he only takes two shots, is that maybe the more concerning thing for him than not yeah. scoring? Yeah, he needs to just use all his game, right? He needs a cut, he needs to post, he needs to flash in the paint, he needs a sprint and transition. He needs to be aggressively on the move when our guards get in the paint. 
uh, all the things that he had done for a long stretch of the season, um, it's not about it's about him being aggressive. And, and he knows how aggressive we want him to be. He knows how much we're counting on him. He knows how much his guys believe in him. So that's going to be the job that he'll do come Thursday because that's a standard and we know how important it is to him to get back to playing at that standard. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thanks.